where it began I can't begin to know it But then I know it's growing strong <laughs> Was in the spring And spring became a summer Who'd have believed you'd come along Hand Touching hands Reaching out Touching me Touching you Fill it up with only two And when I heard Heard and run off No? <laughs> Some was from one side, and uh, 
But she told me that, you know, hey, this is the most outstanding group of young people that I've, uh, that I've uh, ever met. Wow. So, great group of young people here. Uh, I, I do want, we, we do have uh, a couple, our, I want to say a quick thing about our girls team. Um, we ended up um, with only three girls, so we didn't qual we had a team score, but it hurt us. The new scoring system uh, did not help us because we didn't have a fourth skier. But we had one that was sick and one that couldn't make the trip, so unfortunately that hurt our team score. But we still had some really cool results here. I do want to mention one girl today who, you know, you talk about learning about adversity and grit and things like that. Um, she finished 18th yesterday, and that's what Emma Pelt said, you know. And she was some disappointed, and, and 18th is not where she wanted to be. <coughs> um, she finished seventh in the skate race today, you know. And you think about that, that's, that says a lot about her. <laughs> you notice there's two sportsmanship awards. The coaches voted on this as well, so we didn't know, but, but we, went, we ended up getting both of the Class C sportsmanship awards, so that was pretty neat as well. I do want to mention uh, there are two, uh, Ryan's a senior, he's at the band, but I have two senior ladies here, Isabel and Donna, and boy, they've been the heart of this team for the last uh, four years for Isabel and three years for Donna Warren, and so we're going to really miss those gals. Uh, what a great job they did this week. Uh, okay, we have two champions here tonight. There's, uh, first of all, you have an individual, individual champions, and then of course you have that state championship trophy there. So I just want to mention, um, I just want to mention the girls. Uh, uh, overall tonight, we had in the pursuit race this young man right here is a sophomore came in um, came in second overall in the pursuit. So he was on the podium. <laughs> that we have another, now we actually have the individual uh, state champion in Class C girls. This is the second time she's now won it. Mm -hmm. But what was impressive this year is um, had she been in Class B, uh, she would have won that race too. And she, and she won the skate race. Yesterday was a close race. Won it by a second over all the girls, Class B and C. But today I think it was 40... 47 46 or 47 seconds beat every other skier in class B. In class C. <laughs> she is your state champ, uh, individual state champ. Now, I want to mention, the, the, of course, this boys team. I want to mention our sixth skier is only a 10th grader. He's skied hard for middle school in two years now in high school, and it's this young man right here, Jacob Daigle, had some top 25. <laughs> count the top four but what happens when you get to ties you have to go to your fifth and your sixth place skiers and so these guys play a big role and uh, Jacob had a great uh, great weekend uh, so thank you Jacob nice work um, so we have in in terms of the finishes today um, uh, Ryan is not here but Ryan was eighth in classic um, and skate we have got that oh ninth I'm sorry ninth in skate and ninth in pursuit overall we have five boys in the top uh, ten. Dominic, this young man hadn't skied until this year, right there. Dominic, like I said, okay, decides to ski this year. He turns it on at the end of the year. He came in tenth in classic, so he, he, he was a top ten skier in classic. <laughs> he then turns around today and comes in fifth in the skate race. Wow. Wow. Puts in sixth overall, which was a beautiful finish. We've got another band student, Matt Sear, who's down in, in Waterville with his, un uh, his uncle right now because he's got to go to Bangor tomorrow. He turns out a fifth in classic, a ninth in skate, and overall eighth in pursuit. So that was outstanding. <laughs> and then this young guy at the end of the year just jetted it up. He just really turned it on. Um, <laughs> no, he really did. I mean, I can't say enough about him. So he comes in seventh in the classic race, Brandon Rangai. He comes in. Today in the skate race, he was running people down, chasing people down. He came in fourth today. Pursuit wow. overall, and that's just a, it's a chase format. That's what we did today. Then of course, our top boy skier all year long, 
And again, I just don't know, junior, sophomore, Matthew's a junior, uh, this guy's a sophomore, this guy's a sophomore, so this is a very young team. Uh, Ryan's the only young man that's graduated. But Justin pulls a third in Classic yesterday. He pulls a third in, um, in the skate race, which is really it's some big boys, tough competition. But at the, as coming into the stadium, he wins a bit. To hold on to second place in pursuit, he wins pretty much a, a thing is these, I'll tell you this, was something to be said about young athletes that when you get, the, and we've had some years where we have very, very lean teams, but in this year, we're still reasonably small, but we had six core skiers uh, on the boys' side, and five of them really race within about a minute of one another, uh, you know, fairly consistently, sometimes two minutes, sometimes a minute and a half, but it's really driven them because one race, one's ahead. Then the next race, you know, this guy's ahead. And so they internally push themselves through a very co competitive, friendly team competition, and it's just driven them all year long. And so a very young team, and uh, I'm looking forward to some more. Thank you guys for coming out. We appreciate it. And thanks to the safety folks again for doing what you did. We appreciate it. Well done. Well done. Anyone want to shake?